Wow, check this out. I'm inside of a fruiting chamber here at the Humble Fungus. My name is Jesse Noller. I'm an owner and the founder of the Humble Fungus. You can find us online at humblefungus.com or on Patreon, the Humble Fungus. Anyways, with that out of the way, I'm in our fruiting chamber and look, I've actually got to spend a couple of hours in here today and move blocks around for flushes, do a harvest, everything. It's nice and moist in here. It's about 69, 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So a little warmer than, it's right on the edge. And 82% relative humidity, 83% relative humidity. Hmm, that's a pretty moist thing. And check out all these mushrooms I'm growing. But, you know, I sincerely doubt that you, the home grower, have a giant indoor tent with controlled custom humidity and airflow. Hmm. How, if you were to buy a fruiting block from me, could you fruit something at home and get gigantic mushrooms like these, which grew against the damn wall because I'm a dummy? Would you like to know? Come on. So today, what we're gonna learn is basic mushroom block care and feeding. But more importantly, I'm gonna show you how to create a humidity dome or mono tub for your uh, mushrooms. Now, um, I'm going to uh, talk uh, in general and I'll get specific and I'll show you how to build a complete mono tub setup. So, with that all said, Let's begin. So, um, what is a monotub? Well, let's think about things this way. That tent that I just showed you, that humid, warm, eh, warmish tent, um, it's an enclosed space with a controlled environment. So it's a greenhouse, okay. Now, how can we make a greenhouse at home for our mushrooms? Well, you've got a bunch of options. So, um, I've got a shiitake block right here. Actually pull the camera down. So, this shiitake block is covered in pins. These are babies, baby mushrooms all over this. I missed them. I should have fruited this by now, but anyways. So this shiitake block, let's say I got this at home, or I got this home, right? And with shiitake, uh, they require special care. Uh, and so instead of fruiting these in the bag, I'm actually going to have to remove the entire bag and just expose it. Now, what will that do? That'll dry things out, right? And the mushrooms and the fungus will slow down, they'll stop the fruit, they'll get angry. I get questions from customers all the time about this. And so a really easy thing to do is to create a humidity dome. So I got the shiitake block at home. I cut it and I remove the bag. Then I reach into the closet and I grab a clear tote. This has no holes in it or anything. Just a clear tote. And I put it over the block. Done. Right? So that is your greenhouse. And what you're gonna do is after you put the tub over your block, you're not going to spray the block with plain 2O, plain water. You're going to, I'm gonna get water in here first. You're going to spray the sides and the top, therefore creating a humidity dome. Remember what I've said in past videos, fungi do not drink the water from the environment right? They drink it from the block. All you're trying to do is keep the fruit moist, the mushrooms. So that's what you could do at home. Easy peasy. Now there's a catch here. You do not want the lip of this to be airtight to whatever it's sitting on, right? You want a lot of oxygen to be cycling through because as I've explained in other videos, fungi actually release CO2 
and they take in oxygen. CO2 is heavier than air. So if you lift this tub up like an inch or two, like this, up on the counter, the CO2 will escape and fresh air will blow in naturally. Now, done. All right, that's your basic humidity dome at home. Now you can also use a plastic bag. Um, if your block is small enough or it's a side fruiter, you can use a Ziploc bag, right? You can just go do, 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 do. Cut it off, put that over the top, miss it inside. Use a bigger bag. Um, build a little tent out of saran wrap, whatever you want. The point is, is all you're doing is you're building a humidity dome. But that gets us to advanced knowledge. Wow! Now, you're probably saying to yourself, okay, that's cool, we made a humidity dome, but what about contamination? Or what if, what if, what if I have dogs? What if I have kids? What if I wanna keep dog hair off of my mushrooms? What if I wanna control conditions more? Um, well, enter the monotub. Bah, bah, bah. From time immemorial, mushroom growers have been using the monotub to grow mushrooms. That's it. I mean, shit. Let's break it down. What's a monotub? A monotub is any plastic bin with a lid. I'd argue any vessel. Technically, this could be a monotub with the right modifications. Ooh. Basics of a monotub. It is a container. The container has a lid that allows you to keep contamination out, keep humidity up. Now, if you were to close this, no air exchange occurs, right? So oxygen stays out here. CO2 builds up from the fungi exhaling. That's terrible. Now, obviously you could put a gap in between the lid, prop it up good, but what if you're worried about contamination or mold or um, dog hair or something else like that? Well, this is where mushroom growers kind of advanced the game, right? They created monotub. And what, what that is, is you just take a normal tub and you make some holes. You make at least six holes, generally speaking. Uh, one on each long side and two on the broad side. Right? And what that allows is that allows air and CO2 to go back and forth and you're good to go. Now, you can put the holes anywhere you want. Now, if you're actually growing mushrooms in a monotub, and that's going to be a different video, um, you probably have a layer of soil down here, which means you're going to want the holes up above that. Uh, yeah. That's what a monotub basically is. It's, it's a clear plastic tub, and it's got some holes. Allows air exchange. Um, you put the block or the substrate, whatever you're gonna grow, you put it in here, and you mist the sides, and you mist the top, and <laughs> mushrooms everywhere, right? Okay. That's the basics. That is a monotub. And I have grown lots of mushrooms in monotub. I have grown in oyster mushrooms, peopino, reishi, black reishi, yellow reishi, all the, I grew lion's mane in a monotub. The key to growing any mushroom in a monotub is going to be two things. Fresh air and humidity. Remember what our goal range is for our fungi. At the pinning stage, when you see the baby mushrooms pinning, you want relatively high moisture levels, right? So you want an RH of probably say 80%, 85%. But that's only for the pins, right? That's only for the pins. Pins generate in a high CO2 um, 
high RH uh, area in the canopy of the or in the bottom of the forest. They're covered in leaves, right? Uh, so our mono tub setup. When you first put things in, and then you see baby mushrooms, you're probably gonna miss the top and the sides to maintain an 80% RH. And you can get a hygrometer, which is basically a thermometer that measures humidity for like a couple of pennies, 25 cents a buck for like six, uh, off of Amazon. So you're gonna miss this, right? You're gonna miss the sides and the top after you put your block in there. Now, pinning 80 to 85%. When you see mushrooms begin to actually fruit, like these mushrooms down here, those are fruiting. Um, then you're gonna want to adjust the humidity. They actually want less humidity when um, the fruiting bodies emerge, right? So you can drop your humidity to 70 to 75%. What does that mean if you're growing in a tub? Here, I'm probably misting twice a day. Here I'm misting once a day, right? That's your variable that you can control. It's time and frequency. Uh, so I'm misting the sides, I'm misting the top. I'm not misting the block, the substrate or anything else. Don't. How do we meet? Well, I already showed you that your basic monotub, <laughs> you can turn things upside down or or you don't have to do anything. You can grow fungi just fine in an unmodified tub. Just after you see pins and you change the fruit conditions, <laughs> you better give it air. Okay, so we've established you can, you can use a plain old tub to grow mushrooms, great. But how do we make it better? That is how I broke my drill. That is where the monotub comes in. The monotub is the advanced mode. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to build one of these. Boom.